let's show that e to the negative x squared equals x has a root on the interval from 0 to 1. So there's some value between 0 and 1 that makes this equation true. And we'll do this using the intermediate value theorem. I've written the intermediate value theorem here for your reference if you need to review. Note that the intermediate value theorem applies to continuous functions. Right now we just have an equation. So to think of this as a function, what we'll do is subtract e to the negative x squared from both sides. Thus, we have x minus e to the negative x squared equals zero. Now, this thing on the left we can treat as our function. We'll say f of x equals x minus e to the negative x squared. And of course, showing that this equation has a root on this interval is the same as showing that this function passes zero at some point on the interval. Now, this function we know is continuous on the closed interval from 0 to 1 because x and e to the negative x squared are continuous on all real numbers. So we can apply the intermediate value theorem. What we'll do is plug 0 into this function and plug 1 into this function. Hopefully, we'll see that 0 is in between the function's endpoints on the interval, and so we'll know that the equation has a solution. Plugging the left endpoint 0 into our function, we have 0 minus e to the negative 0 squared. This is just e to the 0, which is 1. So this is 0 minus 1, which is negative 1, which is less than 0. So if this horizontal line represents 0, our function starts down here. Then we need to plug in 1, and hopefully we'll find that the function ends somewhere up there, so it must have passed 0 at some point. Plugging that right endpoint 1 into our function, we have 1 minus e to the negative 1 squared, which is equal to 1 minus, well, e to the negative 1 squared is just e to the negative 1, which is 1 over e. Now we know that 1 over e is less than a half, because e is bigger than 2, so 1 over e is less than 1 divided by 2. e, recall, is 2.718, etc. So since 1 over e is less than a half, 1 minus 1 over e is greater than 1 minus a half. But 1 minus a half is equal to a half, which is greater than 0. Hence, 1 minus 1 over e, which is f of 1, is positive. It's greater than 0. So our function began negative, but it ended, at the end of this interval, positive. So since 0 is between the endpoints of our function on this interval, by the intermediate value theorem there must exist some point c in the interval from 0 to 1, so that f of c equals 0. But if plugging in x equals c makes this expression equal to 0, we could add e to the negative c squared to both sides and see clearly that it's a solution to our original equation. e to the negative c squared equals c. Hence, this equation does have a root on this interval, which we've demonstrated using the intermediate value theorem. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus One course and Calculus One exercises playlists in the description for more. If you find my videos helpful, please consider supporting what I do by joining Wrath of Math as a channel member. You can get early and exclusive access to lots of extra calculus practice, and if you join at the premium tier or above, you can access all of the lecture notes used in my videos. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Mama. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me